Hi, it's Pastor Ken again from uh, Northminster Presbyterian Church in Tucson, Arizona. Hope you're having a good day and a good week. Uh, we've been looking at uh, scriptures from uh, our Presbyterian uh, mission uh, calendar. And uh, there's a link at the bottom if you want to look at all the scriptures that are included in this day. Uh, I read through them all and I decided that uh, we'd look at a fairly familiar story. We're not going to look at the whole story uh, about the parable of the Good Samaritan. And uh, in verse 25, um, Luke records this for us. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Uh, in Matthew, it's uh, the Pharisees or some of the Pharisees that come to Jesus. Uh, here, Luke has decided that um, he's going to pick out one particular person who comes to test Jesus. And the word there for test means that they already know the answer uh, that uh, they want to hear. Uh, and they want to see if Jesus uh, knows the answer. And so uh, sometimes the word is translated trap. But then, uh, so he goes on, uh, teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Uh, that's quite a question. Um, and uh, and uh, Jesus comes back with a question, like he does many times, what is written in the law? And this uh, lawyer replies, uh, or then he replied, how do you read it? And the lawyer replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. And then Jesus says, you have answered correctly. Jesus replied, do this and you will live. You know, if uh, that person would have just stopped there, <laughs> I think um, that would have been uh, pretty good. I think that uh that that would have been a, a, a good lesson for the day, but he doesn't. Uh, he goes on to say, and this is what happens if you try to test Jesus, right? But he wanted to justify himself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Wanting to justify himself, he asks another question. And uh, this is where uh, this guy really gets into trouble and where the Pharisees get into trouble. Uh, this guy wants uh, Jesus to give a, some kind of activity that can be calculated in how you love God and how you love your neighbor. And instead of Jesus giving him an activity that he can somehow calculate or measure, uh, he points them in a direction. And the direction is first in the direction of God, and then second in the direction of the neighbor. In many ways, Jesus doesn't answer his question because uh, the question in many ways is not answerable because it's uh, different for each of us. Uh, the real answer uh, is that we will spend all our lives loving God with all our strength and all our heart and all our mind, with our whole being. And we will spend the rest of our lives loving our neighbor because those neighbors come in and out of our lives whoever is in need. I think lots of times uh, we have maybe the same question that we ask maybe silently uh, to Jesus. Uh, well, you know, Jesus, I need to justify myself. I need to be able to calculate in some way how I'm loving God and how I'm loving my neighbor enough so that you will be pleased with me. And Jesus says that is a dead end, Ken. He will never be able to do that, not even with the help of the Holy Spirit. You will fall. You will fail. You will make mistakes. Uh, but the most important thing is to keep looking in those two directions, the vertical direction of my father, of God, Yahweh, and your neighbor, whoever those neighbors are. And so uh, that is the freedom of the gospel, friends. Uh, that it is not an activity that we, uh, again, calculate in how much we love God and then he'll love us back. It is rather the direction of our life. And, may, uh, and so I, I pray that this day and the days ahead, uh, that the direction of your life uh, will be to God first and foremost, and then to those neighbors that God has put in your life. 
Hope you have a great day and a great week. Uh, be safe and uh, stay well.